Hey everybody, I have a question for you. What is the Ultimate Generation X show? Now, when I say Generation X, a lot of people have this kind of confusion. So let me clear it up. Generation X is the middle child between the Baby Boomers and the Millennials. Their stereotypes are slackers, disingenuous, and uninnocent. But, however, I don't think any of those really assist. I think they're really smart. However, I will admit, in TV shows, I do find the Gen X kind of... Um, label kind of interesting, and I kind of like that. <laughs> I mean, I kind of play on that characteristic too in my videos. So, today we're going to be talking about Generation X shows. What is the ultimate best generation show? Generation X shows. The first one I picked out is The Simpsons. Before it starts a holy war in the comics, comments section. I just wanted to put it out there. I get it. The Simpsons has lacked, well, quality over the last years. But, for what it was back in the day, it was funny. And, for good reason. Matt Green did put a lot of heart and soul in his creation, The Simpsons. Bart Simpson in Tickler is this... Very good, kind of, he's sarcastic, he's a slacker, he's a bellier, you know, that's Generation X. Granted, though, however, um, it's kind of hard to put him in the Generation X show, because technically he was born in the 80s, quoting by the show, but technically he would be the uh, early millennial, but... Who did watch The Simpsons back in the day? Gen X kids. So it makes sense that they will try to appeal to that demographic. The next one I'm going to put here, I actually have mixed feelings about this show, and it's Beavis and Butthead. I'm not the biggest fan of gross out humor, I'll be totally honest. That's why Red and Simpy ain't on this wish. But. I have a spec for Mark Judge and Beavis and Butthead. Mark Judge being the creator of Beavis and Butthead. And I feel like, yeah, they do kind of fit the bill for Gen X. They're lazy, they're kind of slackers, they're dumb. So, yeah. But I have more respect for the next show. What was a spinoff of Beavis and Butthead? Daria. Now, Daria... Is a better show. If you haven't seen it, please go watch it. But she fits the Generation X perfectly. She's she wouldn't be a slacker, but she's definitely like a she's sarcastic. She's witty. She's kind of disenfranchised. You know, her best friend Jane. Before you ask, yes, that's where I got my name. Uh, when I came out with Jane, because I like that name, so I started to take it a little bit. Jane is awesome. She's an artist. She's a lot like Daria, but different in Daria in the senses. She would pay attention a little bit high school, as for Daria doesn't. I wait more to Daria. I didn't like high school. So, yeah. The next show is My So-Called Life. Ungood show. Queer Danes. Queer Danes, people. Plays this very well. Very well. And she... She's a lot like Daria in the sense she is disenfranchised, sarcastic. And she fits the Gen X bill very well. Now... I will, now this was about shows, and I will be talking about movies on the next video, maybe. But I just wanted to talk about some TV shows. What do you think is the ultimate Gen X show? Let me know down in the comments. See ya.